Hi, this is Gary from the P3 Lab showing you how to create a BART PE USB stick. Um, what I have on my screen are the contents of the zip file of BART PE USB that I've posted. And below is the README text that shows you the instructions of what we want to do. First thing we want to do is load the HP Storage Format tool. The bottom executable here is actually the installer, so it'll install it on your system, but here's just the exe to run the program. You want to make sure that you see your USB stick in here. You want the file system to be FAT32. The volume label doesn't matter. You want a quick format. You must format the disk. And you want to create a DOS startup disk using the BART PE boot 98 disk folder directory. Um, you want to start. You need to format because it's actually going to copy a uh, master boot record so it boots properly onto the USB stick. You can copy your old data off, copy back on after we're done here. Um, full space will be available. After this format's been complete, I'm not going to actually do it because I have data on my disk, you will see the file structure here. And this is the USB file structure that's on there currently. Um, the next step is you want to copy the source files from the version 50 onto the USB stick. Um, you want to make sure that you rename the i386, if you're just getting it from the CD, to mini NT. And you want to copy the mini NT and the programs to your USB stick. I created another folder called storage, which copies everything onto my disk. Um, at that point, you're good to go. You should be able to boot right off the stick. For any future updates, you just want to get the CD, latest release version, 6070, whatever it is. And you want to copy the i386 and the programs directory. The programs directory contains all the program files in the menu system. So you want to make sure that's updated in line with the mini NT directory, which contains all the drivers and INF files. That's it. Thanks.